takes the ball out of Stephen Casper's hand. Bucknell's point guard forces Cameron Ayers to have to handle. And he takes it right to the hoop. Forces Cameron Ayers here with the ball to bring it up on quite a few possessions, you know, which takes time off the clock. They've got to get it back to Casper and then initiate their offense. Ayers with two in the opening half. Now off the dribble, curling to the jumper. Nice looking. Every team in the universe is on the bubble, Bob. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? I mean, is is every team in the universe not on the bubble? Ayers rising and banking at home with the kids. Early in the year, had a top 30 RPI. Lehigh was playing exceptionally well. But again, the Mountain Hawks lost C.J. McCollum, the nation's leading scorer. But now currently sits at 26 and 5. And Ayers, meanwhile, taking over. It's Patrick on the court as well for the Bison in place of Will uh, Muscala. Ayers, number one option for the Bison. Pull it. Wow. And they've run that set now three times. Now he lost Toth, and he lets it go. Can't counter, almost too wide open, and Ayers has it for Bucknell. One on one against Wilson. And how about Alex Oriaki stepping forward now? Nine points with five rebounds. Nice move, Cameron Ayers he has it. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he lost it or was blocked by Muscala. Either way, it's going Bucknell's direction. Missed from long range, but airs the offensive rebound. Smart play. They bring it back out. One point lead. 49 48 Bucknell. 6 20 to go. I notice across the way they're working on Mascala's left knee. Remember, Johnny took that hard hit that you pointed out in the first half, and they're massaging it a bit now. Inside and not again, not to settle for that outside shot. It, you can get that later in the clock. Cardinal are in the bonus with seven Bucknell team fouls. Help side come over for big blocks and get that stuff out of there. Brackney's got a couple jumpers already. Off to airs here. Tend to shoot as he pulls right on Randall. And find the team and Anthony Brown in great rhythm right there, knocking down that perimeter shot. But going back to uh, a year ago, Bucknell led, led the country in defensive rebounding percentage. So you know this team does a good job of rebounding the basketball. Cameron Ayers spinning. Ayers did. He really worked on his three-point shot. So you know he has that penetrating ability. And look, the onus is on him to produce for Coach Montgomery, Montgomery's Cal Bears. And I think that he's going to end for a big year this year. Cobbs coming off that offseason injury. Good to see him healthy and ready to go on opening night. 15 to shoot for the Bison. Casper didn't want the corner three, driving on Brown. Now single seconds on the shot clock. Fitzpatrick. Shut down by Powell. Ayers will have to pull. And he sticks, struggling to find his, his rhythm, his, his spot in this offense. Yeah, a little bit right now where, again, he's coming back off of an injury, and he's looking to develop his game and get that confidence and awareness that he, uh, that he missed. Cameron Ayers wants to make the score in over three minutes thus far. Yeah, he can drive the ball, too. That's effective if he can make that jump shot. And there is Ayers, and the goaltending call. Made the run. And getting a hand on it is Casper creating the turnover. Here's Ayers pulling up at the top and hitting the ball on the kick out at that point. Five point Bucknell lead. Nearly six minutes elapsed here in the second half. 
But all Bucknell, other than the first basket of the game, up by as many as nine. But they punish you with their cuts, too. It's not an easy team to defend. Ayers, what a move by Ayers. Pretty good attack. Nice pass to set it up. Is that side scissor? They back cut you or come on?